It's no secret, I'm a big fan of the Triple Lot design line of bags, in particular this light speed. It's my best all around middle to large hiking bag. And they made some recent improvements in this design. A lot of them that I do love. You lose a little bit of functionality in a few areas, which I'll highlight coming up. I'll also show you the options and we'll compare this to the previous editions. So let's take a look at the Triple Lot design light speed in this current configuration, plus one other I did. Let's take a look. All right, another tale of two light speeds. This time, the latest editions. These are armory builds from Triple Lot Design that I had done. Both took about three weeks, but we're gonna get into all the details. First, I'm gonna hit the features of the, the bag in case you're not familiar with the Triple Lot Design light speed. Then we're gonna talk about these versions and how they compare to the previous editions. Then I'm gonna talk about how these are different and what I did to them. Then I'm gonna compare this to the Bullet Ruck from Go Ruck, namely this one, cause that's why I got this one in this color and the fabric of 500D. And lastly, and you can skip ahead to this if that's all you're interested in, I'm gonna walk you through some of the options in the configurator armory builder the triple lot design has so you can see what you could build into your light speed if you decided to do it let's get into the triple lot design light speed newest editions all right first up this is just a general overview of the triple lot design light speed i did an entire video on this before and then when i get to the updates you can see how this one varies to that one but go back and watch the original light speed one i did about a month ago but this is the Triple Auto Design Light Speed, 22 liter bag, 20 inches tall, 10 inches wide, about just a little under seven inches deep. The prices vary depending on how you're gonna do it. They retailed originally for 345, and then the special editions were 395. When I get to the differences between my latest editions, I'll tell you what those prices run. This is fantastic. Uh, the, the Configurator Armory Builder lets you do a bunch of different things, but outside, Fantastic features, load lifters, very comfortable straps. Uh, one or two external pockets. The original one had just one. This one has two pockets inside. It's very limited in terms of organization. There are two internal front pockets. Very simple and rugged design. Doesn't stand, so if that's gonna be a deal breaker, the bottom is sloped so that it is more, you know, streamlined to your back as you wear it but it's not a very good everyday carry bag just because you know it falls over with whatever you have in there so that could be maybe a deal breaker for you the ability to add this tail option which i'll show you later you can put webbing on the side you can really make this bag whatever you wanted to depending on how you built it out and so really it's a very fantastic bag for a lot of different things so that's the overall features of the triple lot design light speed Let's get into how this compares to the previous edition of the Lightspeed. All right, so here's the venerable standard edition of the Lightspeed, the previous edition I had. So we're gonna show you the highlights of what's different of this bag. You can do a ton of things to this bag when you configure it. And again, more about that at the end of the video, but these are the overall design feature updates that you see in this one. And there's a couple of deletions that you can't get in this bag and I'll highlight that as well. But first of all, the updates. The update, the one big update, and the reason I really wanted to get this one was the addition of this pocket that's in the front. The addition of this pocket, which is not on the previous edition of Lightspeed, to me is the biggest improvement. Now the other things that they did to this that are different, they updated the back straps. So you have thicker straps on the back of the newest Lightspeed. That's cool, a lot of people complain these are too narrow, not as comfortable. These are thicker and more comfortable than the other edition, the previous edition. The back panel is different, and I highlight this on a little short video, but you can see that the back panel is different. There's a different design, thicker padding, if you ask me, uh, less of an air channel, but more of this triple lot design uh, logo back, if you ask me. Um, and it is more comfortable, I think. Uh, the padding is just a little bit different, and you know, again, I like the back of the triple lot design, both of them. Um, didn't really complain too much about this one, but this one is, I would say, incrementally and a little bit more comfortable compared to the older edition. So, back thicker straps, back panel, pockets are the really the big differences between these two. Another little minor difference is the way these straps are attached. So, 
you can see on the previous edition that they're just kind of sewn in there. They've got some webbing that attach the strap to the bag. That's just the way this was designed. And then the load lifter provides some additional support. Now the bag is basically sewn in to the bag. So that's just a difference. There's no webbing that I can feel in there. There is sewn in webbing on the on the strap and that is sewn all the way in and then the load lifter. So just a little bit of a design difference between how these bags are attached at the top. I'm a big fan of that because in previous edition, if you were gonna use this for everyday carry, when you grab this bag, it just, you kind of lose the ability to, you know, to control the bag. Now this is a little bit better, in my opinion, the way these are attached now, so I do like that. That's a, a minor difference that really wasn't highlighted anywhere else. Some things that you miss by going with the sterile edition, which I'm not a big fan of them calling it the sterile edition. I would have called it slick, but then again, you can configure it where it's not slick, so that's just me. But in this edition, you cannot get bottom webbing added to it and all the configuration options. I'll show you that at the end. But the original one had webbing on the bottom, so you can really deck this thing out a lot differently than you can this one. The other big difference, you know, when I show you that way you can configure it, is that you don't get the option to put multiple webbing uh, things on the side. You either get this or nothing, or you get the multi-layered dual molly webbing option here. That's pretty much all you get, versus this one, you get it all. Uh, multiple options to attach things because you got different places to attach. So really, this one gets you more options uh, for attaching things on the original Lightspeed design. Now, they also have the 550 cord option in this, or not option, it's just installed, so you can lash things down on the top of this. A bedroll, a jacket, something other um, bigger across the top, so that's cool. So those are the two things you don't get in this, is you have limited webbing options if you decide to go that route, and you don't get this option here, or in the webbing on the bottom. So really, you lose a couple of things with this latest design. So those are the differences between the current and the previous. All right, so I ordered two editions of the newest Lightspeed. I really wasn't planning on doing that. I really wanted one in 500D Multicam Tropic, Tropic Multicam, because I wanted to compare it directly with a bullet, which I'll do in a few minutes. But what I really wanted to do is really deck this thing out uh, in a bunch of different ways. I didn't get the tail option on this one because I just didn't really think I would ever use it in this mode uh, because this was going to be a direct competitor in a head-to-head -head with the bullet ruck. Um, but it does have the pocket, which I love, and it does have a ton of features, which will make this the probably the, the go-to outdoor bag um, and kicking around town kind of thing. Now this one... Um, it's the Stormtrooper build, and it is in the X50 Alpine Multicam, Multicam Alpine, however you want to say it, but it's this thicker material, which I'm, generally speaking, really a big fan of X50. It's just a really super durable option for me, and really, this one, this is going to be, you know, you could snowboard or ski with this thing, and you wouldn't look out of place, and it is super cool, and it's got all the weather features that you would want. Uh, X50 and AquaGuard zippers for being outside in the wilderness and the cold. The one little difference that you'll note is this one has the, the traditional YKK reverse coil zippers and this one's got the AquaGuard versions. That's highlighted on the website when you configure your bag. If you go with any of the X uh, X pack fabrics, you're going to get AquaGuard. If you go anything with 500D, you're going to get the standard zippers, which I like and I don't mind, and that's just the way I prefer this, the bag to feel personally than compared to the AquaGuard, which again is just more um, weather resistant, but it's awesome. Um, the other things I did with this, I mean, I didn't go crazy on the webbing, so this is as the bag would ship in its sterile configuration. You get one strip of webbing on the, on the top and bottom, but that's it. You don't get the other options. You can add those, like I added here, the three different uh, webbing rows, and it doesn't have the dual the ability to put the uh, dual webbing option, the one in two inch. So that's it. Um, I didn't get the straps added to either of these because I have ones on my other bag, so I would just transplant those because that's really all you're doing is adding those straps on there. I got the ta the tail added to this. So this is the sterile edition in the same exact fabric X50 Multicam Alpine. You can totally deck this out with a different color if you want. You mix and match however you wanted. And you can also get these individually in any color and fabric material combo that you wanted. So you can do that. You can also get the webbing edition. This is the sterile edition because I want it to be 
uh, slick. Um, also, when I when I fold this tail off of here, off the light speed, you can see I didn't add the webbing to the front of this thing either. So if I just went all natural, I would just have that. I did add the Velcro strips on both of these bags because I just I'm gonna have Velcro on there. But you could go completely slick and sterile and not have any Velcro on there whatsoever. You can also do the three by three edition. So those patches that come with, or you can get from Triple Out Design would fit on there perfectly. If you just wanted to do that option, that's cool. But that's pretty much it for the options that I added to this one. In terms of configuring this, I just wanted to compare the two uh, side by side and give you the different options to show you what they would look if you went in either different direction. There's a ton of other different fabric material options out there, so you can do whatever you wanted in terms of building out your perfect light speed. All right, compared side to side with the Bullet Ruck from Go Ruck, and again, this is the 15 liter versus 22 liter, so obviously quite a bit bigger in terms of size. And the webbing options, obviously black on this one, coyote on this version. I kind of like the coyote look, kind of matches with the fabric. Um, no option to change the webbing or zippers on this. It's just black everywhere. So it's just a different look. And it's, you know, personal preference. A lot of other different attachment options on the light speed compared to the bullet. On the bullet, you just get the front option, but you get side options on the light speed, so that's cool. You have the, different, the ability to attach things with all these other different attachment points, so that's cool. The back, breathable and more padded on the light speed, and but it's got this slicker material on the bullet, which again is what Gorex is doing on a lot of their outdoor focused bags. This is more padded, I would say, but this is slick, less abrasion with this one compared to this one. But again, I think you're gonna use these bags generally maybe for different options. This one's uh, better around town. This one's a great hiking bag, day hiker, just because the load lifters and the more customization, if you ask me. But that's side to side. Internal features are very similar to internal pockets. Obviously this one's taller, so you get a little more capacity in those pockets and then this one. I've also done a review on this bullet ruck, which is awesome, so you can check that one out. Right here, that's the bullet ruck compared to the light speed. Let's take a minute or two and look at the configurator, the armory builder, start your build, whatever you want to do on the Triple Lot Design webpage. So link in the description down to get to this page and then let's walk through some of the options. So first of all, the video is really great. They show you a bunch of options, how it's going to look as you build the bag. Um, but we're going to start your build. And as we look at some of the options, it you know shows you the picture of the bag you're going to build. But right now, $355 is the base price for this bag. As we look at the fabric options, and again, a little note in there tells you that you're going to have the YKK's coilovers uh, if you go 500D and then the Aqua Guards on the others. They got wax canvas. Why didn't I go waxed canvas, JB? Well, I really like waxed canvas for a round town bag, go to work, travel sort of thing. It didn't really fit this mode because I, these bags are my hiking bags, get outside, get dirty, and wax canvas just really wasn't gonna be for me. If I was gonna use this bag as a slick everyday, go an everyday carry bag, then I would have, I like wax canvas, but I didn't really want it in this boat. 500D, I got, this one's 500D, VX21 and 42 if that's your jam, X50 is what I went with for the Stormtrooper build. Now once you select that, the next option is the color. Look at all these color options. They are not all colors available in every material. So just keep that in mind. Uh, it kind of limits it, but this obviously the 500D has the, the widest selection. Front top, again, those are the Velcro options. Uh, I went with three by nine on both my bags. You can go either slick or the three by three. The front bottom, again, this has got the three rows of webbing. You can also do a the dual layered, uh, the stacked webbing, which I didn't do. Fortunately, it doesn't allow you to do both. It's either one or the other, which is kind of annoying. Same thing on the sides. You can either do one, uh, one rows of webbing or three two uh, or one in the middle. So I obviously did the two rows added, and but that's it, I couldn't do anything else. So that's kind of a bummer. I would like to do all of it. And then the bottom, no options. The width straps options is just the attachment straps and you get those attachment points anyway. So if you had those straps from another bag, you can just transplant them. So that's why I didn't add those and they're eight bucks if you wanted to add it to your build. Tail type, again, this one didn't come with one. I didn't order it, but the other one did and that's because I ordered 
the uh, the sterile edition with uh, in the X50 multicam uh, Alp Alpine. You can pick your different fabric. Again, you can do mix and match if you wanted to really go different if you wanted, but I didn't. I picked the same exact thing. And the last thing, for 50 bucks, you can jump in line so you can get yours done a little faster if that's what you wanted to do. For my two builds, this one took about three weeks and a day, three weeks and four days uh, to get to me. So they averaged three to four weeks. Cool, that's what I got. Lastly, as configured, the Tropic was 358 and the Alpine was 440 configured the way you see it here. Again, tail added, slick, and a different material, 500D with webbing. So depending on what you add, we'll jack up the price for your light speed build depending on what you put in it. So there you go, that's it. That's the tail two light speeds. That's the 500D Tropic and the X50 Alpine. Stormtrooper build, big fan of both. Which one will I keep? Which will I get rid of any of the other one? I'm, I'm not really sure. So there you go, that's the Triple Lot Design Lightspeed. Hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel so you can see what's happening next. But this is a fantastic bag. They did a lot of nice things to improve it. And I do like the option to configure it however you want. Hope they do that with other bags coming up soon. But anyway, we're gonna continue to enjoy the outdoors. You can do the same wherever you happen to be. And we'll see you in the next video. See ya. Triplot Design, light speed from Triplot Design. Duh. Triplot Design. Airplanes. Always flying overhead. <laughs>